Postal Processes Part 1. This video is going to be split into two parts. In this video, we're going to be looking at the learning objectives in pink. So we're going to be looking at two types of weathering, three types of mass movement, and destructive versus constructive waves. So what is weathering? Weathering is the breakdown of rock in situ, which is where it is. There are two types of weathering, mechanical, which is the breakdown of rock without changing its chemical composition, and chemical, the breakdown of rock by changing its chemical composition. An example of mechanical is freeze-thaw weathering. Water enters the rock through a crack. When the water freezes, it expands, putting pressure on the rock. When the water thaws, it contracts, which releases the pressure on the rock. This repeated freezing and thawing widens the cracks and causes rocks to fall and break. An example of chemical weathering is carbonation. This is when rainwater has carbon dioxide dissolved within it, making it a weak carbonic, carbonic acid. Carbonic acid reacts with rock that contains calcium carbonate. So the rock is then dissolved by rainwater. Simply put, the rock is dissolved by rainwater. You do not need to memorize the specific names. What is mass movement? So mass movement is the shifting of rocks and loose material down a slope, for example, a cliff. It happens when the force of gravity acting on a slope is greater than the force supporting it. It then causes coasts to retreat rapidly. There are three types of mass movement, sliding, slumping and rockfall. As you may guess, sliding is when materials shift in a straight line along the side plane. Slumping is when material rotates along a curved slip plane. And rockfall is when material breaks up along bedding planes and falls down a slope. Pause the video to look and copy down the diagrams. When wind blows over the surface of the sea, it creates waves. There are two types of waves, destructive and constructive. Destructive are waves that erode the coast, destroy the beach, whereas constructive is waves that deposit material at the coast, so builds the beach. So in destructive, the backswash, which is water moving down the beach, is more powerful than the swash, water moving up the beach. Whereas in constructive, the swash is more powerful than their back swash, so material is deposited. Watch part 2 for the rest of coastal processes. For more videos on GCSE English, French geography and computer science, subscribe to Noble for GCSE.